On one of the many tributaries crisscrossing the broad delta at the mouth of the Ganges River lies Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh, one of the new nations of the world. Because of the region's many streams and lakes, boats are the most important means of transportation. Like bus stops in other cities, Dhaka's boat landing platforms are crowded with people. The country of Bangladesh is also crowded. With 82 million people, it is one of the world's most densely populated countries. Its increasing population and the shortage of food is a severe problem for the country. Rickshaws are the most popular way to get around, and there are approximately 50,000 in Dhaka. They play an important part in the city's economy as they provide a living for the many thousands who move into the city from rural areas. The rickshaw offers work which demands no qualification other than an able body. In much of Asia, working for another man is considered to be degrading, a loss of face. A rickshaw operator is his own boss. He rents the rickshaw from the owner for two dollars a day and keeps all the money he earns. It is possible for a young man like this whose home is hundreds of miles away, to come to the city with only the first day's rental fee in his pocket and set himself up in business. countries with little industry and a large population, work is usually done with hand or foot power. operator earns only about a dollar a day, his time is his own, and he can stop at a tea house to eat whenever he is hungry or tired. <laughs> Family incomes are often so small that even the youngest children must work, like this young tea shop waiter. Hey, 
In crowded South Asian cities, people struggle to survive. Jobs are often simple, the hours long, and the pay low. In Dhaka, the rivers not only provide transportation, there are places for washing and bathing as well. Jute products such as sacks and ropes are the most important exports of the country of Bangladesh. Jute is a plant fiber grown only in Asia and is used for making rope and burlap bags. Bangladesh produces more jute than any other country, about a quarter of the entire world output. Forty thousand workers are employed here at the world's largest jute factory. Once privately owned, the factory was taken over by the government of Bangladesh when it won independence from Pakistan in 1978. Like most South Asian countries, Bangladesh has few good natural resources and depends heavily on imports, creating a large deficit balance. Equally important are the obstacles in the social and economic development, increasing population and the constant shortage of food. These problems, which seem to be common to most underdeveloped countries, are acknowledged, but can only slowly be resolved. 